Thank good morning, Sybil. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, and thank listener. you very much, Dallas, for showing up for the one more time with Charlotte Wilson. Woo! And Dougie Fresh and Life Jennings and Al B. Shore. Woo! And Cube, and Cube came by, gave me a jersey. I heard gave, me a, gave me an autograph jersey from his uh, from the three big on three. three. Yeah. yeah, the big three, the big three. The big three. Man, Sherry showed up. Thank you, Sherry. Did you have a good time? Man, we had a good time. So much that we went we went overtime. Charlie was, you couldn't stop Charlie, so they stopped the band. They pulled really? it. Really? Yeah, they pulled, they turned they turned the power off on the band, and Charlie had to do his his last little number, a cappella. A cappella, <laughs> it was a cappella. Mm-hmm. A, a cappella, huh? Yeah, Charlie. Charlie was working, working in all that heat, and the hotter it got, the the harder he worked. So the staff burned rubber on him, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, <laughs> they pulled that plug, boy. Well, union, was, that's union house, man. Man, that was. But everybody had a good time. Nice. Everybody had a good time. Thank nice. you so much. Uh, I heard Big Bro was in the house. <laughs> yes. 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 He didn't call you and tell you about it. The show was so good. I know y'all not talking. But yeah, we, didn't even, we didn't even text him. <laughs> but he should have he should have called you and said, Hey, hey little bruh, I know we're not talking. <laughs> but I'm at this show and it's so good. I just had to talk to you about this. And he never and, and, and he never said anything, huh? No, man. <laughs> I was too busy and Raleigh, North Carolina. He was having they a good time. They still talk about the one more time in Raleigh. Yeah, Joe was Joe was having a good time, man. Got out he, the house, got a house, a hall pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hey Simba, did you go see the uh the, the little boys in the movie? They they smashed the box office. Yeah, I did. I did. I enjoyed it. It was it was it was cute. It was fun. But what was most disturbing for me was I couldn't enjoy the movie for this guy that brought four little kids with him to the movie who oh. really should not have been there. How little? Like four to ten. Uh-huh. Four to ten year olds. And um, it was, <laughs> I really, <laughs> but I, I enjoyed, you know, what I, what I could concentrate on. It was, it was a cute movie. Um, <laughs> but it was, nice. it was just disturbing. I was like, you know, Good kids should not be at good boys. You told him that? Yes. You told the parent that? Yeah. Hmm. He's like, well, I didn't know what else to do with the movie. Now he's coming to the movie. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Couldn't see Angry Bird too. Yep, right. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. None of that. <laughs> no, but it did very well at the box office. Yeah, it did. Surprisingly, they said. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. But it's good to see, you know, um, a fun movie. Um, and I paid for other kids to go see uh, Brian Banks. Again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I saw, I saw the uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> all his mo- all his movies crazy. Yeah, they right. are. But yeah, that's okay. I could I could this was <laughs> this may be a little too crazy for me. And I, I know was, that's saying I it was a lot. One of his best. I really enjoyed Once Once Upon a you Time did? in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really I, did. I, I it wasn't Kill Bill. It was <laughs> 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 Okay. But uh yeah, 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 yeah. Um I'll go see I'll I'll go see Good Boys. I'll go see Good Boys this week. Yeah. All right, hey, hey, um, guy, yeah, how man. you doing, man? Yeah, uh, Boogie Cousins is know, out for man. the season. Broke my heart. Maybe out for his career. Hopefully not. But man, everybody's you know saying that this may be uh-huh. it at that age and that injury. Yeah, yeah, man. I hope not, man. But I, I I'm praying to God that don't bring in Dwight Howard, man. That's the talk. <laughs> That's the talk know, that they're gonna bring in Dwight Howard no, no. to we replace that, Boogie I, Cousins. I like rather to sign me as a center <laughs> than Dwight Howard. Man. <laughs> yeah, me and Super Dave, we can stand on each other's shoulders and play center, man. But just anybody but, but Dwight Howard. But Dwight Howard. <laughs> but not- the fans, the fans don't want him. 
Nobody wants him. Because when he was here before, you know how you go to a game and they have the players do like hype the crowd up on the big jumbotron, right? Mm -hmm. And the crowd gets hyped when they see their their player do that. When he was doing that, people would look at him like, eh, <laughs> eh. Wow. Get your big goofy ass off the jumbotron. <laughs> the, the fans don't want him. We don't need a second helping of that. You yeah. know, we, we shouldn't chew our cabbage twice. <laughs> <laughs> you so what would you do? Who would we you got have? Joke Joakim Noah's out there. I mean, we're really waiting on Iguodala. I mean, Memphis the Memphis Grizzlies ha have the rights to uh, Iguodala, uh -huh. and they were going to sign. They were going to buy him out, and then Houston uh, showed interest in them out trading for him. So then they held off on buying him out. So now we're just kind of waiting to see, you know, holding that roster spot for him. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Anybody yeah. from the WNBA? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take Lisa Leslie out uh, from coaching the big three over Dwight Howard. Over Dwight Howard. <laughs> I'm serious. And nah, what he, is he, LeBron he, he, saying? The I other, don't know. The other coach. I don't know. Headband. I don't know. I know right. Coach. I don't know what headband is saying. <laughs> I don't know what headband. Is. I see uh, Tyron went and signed across the locker room. Yeah. Across the hall. Explain that. Said, Explain that. Uh, you know, Tyron, your, your, your boy. Yeah. As an assistant coach, turned yeah. down head coaching jobs. Why right. would why would he want to take an assistant coaching job instead of a, a head coaching job? Well, one is L.A. You know, two he he was the assistant there before when before he moved on uh, to Cleveland, mm -hmm. and he you know this is his third stint under Doc Rivers. He was assistant in, with Doc Rivers in Boston, and he was assistant with Doc Rivers at the Clippers. So he's just going back and just, you know, he just wants to be in L.A. and want, and want to be coaching. And will this, it'll keep him out there, certainly. Yes, so exactly. So when his name is mentioned, um, right. when, when openings come up, and they will come up. Right. Um, then no one else, will... no one else wanted. The, the Lakers offer was disrespectful right. to him. All right, but no, one, but no one else in the NBA wanted it? Well, there wasn't any other coaching jobs available, I think, when, oh, when yeah. he was out there. Yeah. Okay. So he took so he, yeah. so, so he took the uh, assistant coaching job. And I yeah. think it's a way of showing the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just I texted him and just said, congrats, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 I was a little think, sad. All right. I now, how do, Raiders, right. how do the Raiders fans out there feel about Antonio Brown? Man. This <laughs> Antonio Brown doesn't want to play because he liked the helmet that he want to play with. Well, I, well, thought the were, I thought they were coming to an agreement on that. No, they had no. another. I had another alert yesterday saying he was he was sitting out. He's sitting you know, out because he wants he wants to play with his old helmet, his well, old unsafe you, helmet. But you know what? That old unsafe helmet knows the secrets of all the whack ass haircuts he's been having. <laughs> <laughs> so he need the helmet to fit them. Them Nino Brown looking has haircuts. <laughs> I never thought about that. That's a good point. <laughs> the, the new the helmet's going to mess up his dude. The whack <laughs> He ain't worried about what's going on inside his head. He worried about what's going on the outside. outside on of top his of head. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Tory Monday. Guy's got a gripe. Tory Stories. Dear black people, Sybil's Big A Word, and Money Mondays with Melody Hobson, all that and more. Coming up, 10 past the hour, TJMF.